My experience also of Putin is that um, uh, if he threatens, he usually intends to act in some fashion, and the Russians themselves have threatened this military technical action, so giving themselves a lot of options, um, you know, notwithstanding what um, Lieutenant General Hodges has said about the unlikelihood of being able to do a massive full uh, invasion that would take Kiev, there's a lot of options that Putin has laid out for himself there, including you know, kind of further repetition. This gets to that point about another incursion, uh, was, which is uh, President Zelensky of Ukraine said there's no such thing as an incursion. Well, it's your territory that's been taken, the kind of salami tactics of one move and then waiting and taking um, some more moves. So we should be very careful about the idea of this being a bluff, but I know that many of our allies are a bit skeptical about what they see is happening. So in the larger strategic um, context, which I think uh, my colleagues uh, and I've already laid out, we need to keep this up. We need to keep up our response as if we're taking this absolutely 100% seriously. Call the bluff as you were, because, you know, in past practice, Putin often hasn't bluffed and has done something. Putin's very mindful of 2024, not just when we have our presidential election, but also when he must theoretically, and as well as in practice, submit himself for re-election at home uh, to um, then gain the presidency for perhaps another six to even 12 years, depending on um, how many terms he sees before him at this particular juncture. So in many respects, time is of the essence for Putin. He would like to receive, achieve a resolution of these issues before 2024. And right now, his public opinion ratings are not what they used to be.